Welcome to my teeny tiny talk show. We're here with John Doyle, esteemed television critic at the Globe and Mail, our like country's leading chic newspaper. Thank you, John, for being here on the teeny tiny. Brini, it is my pleasure. I'm actually flattered to be asked <laughs> to be here. This is a legendary couch, as far yes. as I'm concerned. As I've told you, mm -hmm. love your cushions. I'm on the blacklist. It's an awful TV show. I want to talk about The Bachelorette. John, what do you think about The Bachelorette in general? and in terms of the specific Canadian iteration. Well, Brini, I'm, I'm not a connoisseur <laughs> of The Bachelorette, yeah. but I have seen mm. several iterations of it. I like The Bachelorette and a little Secret bit Secret Bachelorette fan John Doyle, it's revealed today on the Teeny Tiny. My taste varies. Mm. Like one of my favorite shows is Say Yes to the Dress. What? Yes. I, I find it a really relaxing show to watch okay, last which thing city? At night. Which city? Uh, oh, I prefer the original New York. Okay, yeah. does that have Randy on it? Yes. Oh my god, I love yeah. Randy. Lots of reality shows are interesting because they do give you an insight into things like family dynamics. Mm and putting people in a circumstance where th there's like a family or a posse mm. buying a, a bridal dress, like that's an odd situation and yeah. odd things happen. So that's why I like it. Everyone always wants bling. Like if you got married, John Doe, how much bling would you want on your wedding dress? If you're like- No bling. No bling. No bling. It's no, like be no. simple, be no. minimal, be chic. But then on The Bachelorette, is there anything good on it or is it all just horrendous? Like, and you mentioned there's a lot of douchey guys on it that it's yes. like- I, I think all of The Bachelorette shows mm. are interesting in that this is one of the oldest stories in the world from Shakespeare through most, some of Mozart's operas it's binding a mate from a group of people. The Bachelorette Canada, I, I kind of have my doubts about it. I have my doubts about Jasmine. I think she's a bit unsubtle. Mm. She is there, it's sort of too obvious that she's not what you'd call a sophisticated person. Mm. You mentioned the, the douchey guys, mm. and so far into it, I'm thinking she's a douchey denier. <gasps> She's like, she doesn't really recognize the douchiness. She also seems to be like a hairbrush denier. I'm a hairbrush denier. People <laughs> on the internet are like, brush your hair and put on pants. And I'm like, no. Okay, John, let's have like a final lightning round. What are any other fall TV shows that you're like super, super, super excited about? Designated Survivor, Divorce, Westworld. Would you do it with a robot version of yourself? Hot question. Atlanta and Better Things. Anything that you say we should miss? Anything you hated so, so, so much? Notorious. Oh yeah. Oh that my awful. god. So you know, the I would describe it as one of the worst shows in the history of the worst network shows ever. Thanks so much, John Doyle, for coming on Brainy's Teeny Tiny Talk my Show. My pleasure, Brainy. All about fall TV. Yay, Teeny Tiny! Don't forget to subscribe to the Teeny Tiny Talk Show.